In this video, I am going to try and provide you with something that I really had a difficult time figuring out as a stair builder. However, I am not a building inspector or someone who works at your local building department, and their interpretation is going to matter more than mine. However, with that said, by the time you're done watching this video, you might be able to provide them with a good argument about whether or not a landing would be considered part of a stairway. For for the purpose of changing the height of the landing if necessary. And an example of that would be if you had a landing at the bottom or top of the stairway. Now here's the problem I ran into when I was building stairs. And that was the fact that it wasn't difficult to cut the stair stringers to provide the same riser height for each step in the stairway. However, that wasn't always going to be the case with the landing. For example, if I needed a 7 inch riser height, then I might need to rip the joist down to create a riser height of 7 inches. And that's going to require a lot more time when building the stairway. Or you could run into another situation where you have a landing in the middle that would provide you with the ability to build two different flights of stairs with different riser heights. For example, the upper stairway could have a riser height of seven and a quarter inches, and the lower section could have a riser height of seven inches or even seven and a half inches. And something like this could be useful in split level homes or in homes with multiple levels and landings. Or another situation that might allow you to lower the riser height for one stairway or to increase the riser height would be to change the riser height here because it would be separated by two landings. So in this example here, we would have a upper floor, lower floor, landing, flight of stairs, landing, landing, flight of stairs. And according to my interpretation, we would not be able to change the riser height or the treads in this area here or in this section here leading from the top of the landing to the top of the landing or leading from the top of this landing to the top of this landing or floor. However, according to my interpretation of the building code, we would be able to change the height here and here. And this is the whole reason why I'm making the video is because I used to come to situations where it would be easier for me to build the stairs if I could change the riser height in a landing, whether it's located in the middle, at the top, or at the lower section. And this would provide us with three points to change the riser height if we needed to. Even though I never have, I always built the stairs with the same riser height. And if you can, I would suggest doing so also. And if you can't, then something like this is probably going to be accepted by your local building department. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've seen it done before at the top and the bottom of the stairway. I've never seen it done in the middle like this, but I have seen it done plenty of times at the top or the bottom. And if that is true, if you can do it at the top and you can do it at the bottom, and they consider this to be a landing and this to be a landing, then you're not going to have a problem doing it here because this would be a landing and this would be a landing. And to prove my point, let's go ahead and read the definition of a couple of words in the International Building Code book. Stairway, one or more flights of stairs. And in this one here, we would have a flight of stairs here, a flight of stairs here, and then a step, step, and a step or what even might be referred to as a stair. So the definition for stair is a change in elevation consisting of one or more risers, which we would have right here, right here, and right here. A stairway is one or more flights of stairs, either interior or exterior, with the necessary landings and platforms connecting them to form a continuous and uninterrupted passage from one level to another within or attached to a building porch or deck. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the word flight. And the definition of that is a continuous run of rectangular treads or winders or combination thereof from one landing to another, meaning that a flight of stairs will be from one landing or one level, one floor, to the next landing. 
suggesting that the flight of stairs would be right here. All risers and treads would need to be the same from this landing to this landing and from this landing to this landing. However, it might not be from here, here, or here. And that is all I have to say about that at this moment in time. And for those of you working in the building trades or even someone who might have a better interpretation of this situation, feel free to provide us with your interpretation in the comment area so that everyone can see them and hopefully we can make sense out of this particular building code.